I received a phone call from the owner of the location. And sometime between last night and this morning, someone came and vandalized the business. This is a yoga skill studio where brothers and sisters come to learn how to achieve spiritual harmony, to gain peace of mind. This is a beautiful place ran by a beautiful sister in our community. It is a yoga center where you go to find spiritual bliss and inner peace. And because my detractors, my cyber stalkers, my trolls, they didn't want Dr. Umar to be able to do his book signing. And because they were unsuccessful in stopping me in Chicago, and they were unsuccessful in stopping me in Detroit, and they were unsuccessful in stopping me in New York, and they were unsuccessful in stopping me in Nat Turner land, and they were unsuccessful in stopping me in Newark, New Jersey, they decided to physically vandalize and destroy our sister's business. There are four window panes. There are four window panes, brothers and sisters. They broke out the first window pane. They totally obliterated the second window pane. And then they also bust out the third window pane. Why was this necessary? Just because a brother is coming to give a book that's going to empower parents to be able to more effectively and successfully protect their children. Why is this necessary? Because a brother is trying to open a school for black boys. Are you that jealous? Are you that envious that you would sabotage a business? Brothers and sisters, I'm tired of being Mr. Nice Guy. I'm tired of standing by watching people attack me and attack people who support me and attack people who care about me. I don't bother nobody. I mind my business. Yes, I'm popular. Yes, I'm successful, depending on whatever standard you're using. Yes, I'm well known, but I'm a simple brother. I'm a laid back brother. I'm a humble brother, and I don't appreciate this. I do not appreciate this. Atlanta, I'm not blaming you for this because we don't know if this was done by somebody in Atlanta. And even if it was done by somebody in Atlanta, a city that I've never had no issues with, a city that has always loved Dr. Umar, a city that has always come out strong for Dr. Umar Johnson. In fact, I almost bought a school in Atlanta right before we found the location in Wilmington, Delaware. I almost ended up with a school in Atlanta. So Atlanta is the last place where I expected this to happen. But as you all know, my leading trolls on Facebook, my leading trolls on YouTube, my leading trolls in the black community, they have been trying to sabotage my work. They have been trying to stop my work. They have been slandering me in my name. They have tried to sabotage the school. They have, trying to, they have tried to sabotage the fundraiser. And I'm sick and tired of it, brothers and sisters. I'm sick and tired of that, brothers and sisters. And so today I got on the phone with an attorney. I, I got on the phone with an attorney for the first time. Now, some of you are going to say, Dr. Umar, why didn't you try to get with an attorney sooner? Some of you are going to say, Dr. Umar, why didn't you get a lawyer? The reason why I didn't then get an attorney, brothers and sisters. The reason why I didn't. I hadn't been gotten attorney is two reasons. Two reasons, brothers and sisters. Two reasons. One reason I didn't get an attorney is because I actually believe that our people will come to their senses and stop supporting nonsense. One of the reasons I didn't get an attorney is because I actually believe that our brothers and sisters would come to their senses and, and stop promoting the nonsense because my cause is righteous. And what I stand for is righteous. And I'm very serious about our work. And with the war against black children, I really thought that black people would step in and step up and say, leave that brother alone. He's doing something that nobody else is doing. He's doing something that nobody else is doing. And he's definitely doing something that nobody else in the conscious community is doing. Leave that brother alone. That's why I didn't call any attorney. That's why I didn't do anything, brother, because I said this will fall by the wayside, sister. I said, this will fall by the wayside. They will come to their senses. They will see that what we're doing is important and they will leave me the hell alone. But that doesn't happen. It's only gotten worse. That hasn't happened. It's only gotten worse, okay? So today, all right, I finally decided to pick up the phone 
and speak with an attorney for the first time, I shared the names of my leading detractors, the information I have about them. For the first time, I spoke with an attorney today to share with them the slander and the cyberbullying, the stalking, the sabotage, the rumor spreading, the character assassination, the level, the libel, and so forth and so on, brothers and sisters. So I don't know where this is going to lead. The attorney is confident that we can put it into this. The attorney is very confident that we could put it into this. The attorney actually wondered why I didn't say anything sooner, but I had to explain to the attorney I didn't think it would go this far. They were, you know, the videos never bothered me. I don't care what people think about me. I don't care about videos. And then they started sabotaging my work, sabotaging the school, sabotaging my profession, sabotaging my events. But I still said this will end. And now for the first time, brothers and sisters, in a city that I love and in the city that loves me, for the first time, brothers and sisters, in a city that I love, in the city that loves me, Atlanta, Georgia, they have decided to come and destroy this sister's business. Why would you do this? This black woman didn't do nothing to you. If you got a problem with Dr. Umar, you take it out with Dr. Umar. You don't harm this sister's business like this. Okay, I'm happy to be in Atlanta, brothers and sisters. My spirits are not low. My spirits are not low, but I just feel bad, though, because I brought this upon this sister. I feel very bad that I brought this upon this sister for the first time in my history. My enemies have gone so far as to vandalize and destroy your business. Okay? This is a felony. This is a felony. Vandalism of a business is a felony. And you will be brought to justice, brothers and sisters. Whoever did this will be brought to justice. The police have come out. They have taken a report. The area is under surveillance. They also believe that they may have caught the suspects on camera, suspect or suspects, they're going to be checking the video footage in this neighborhood. They do have city cams up, so they may have it. We have to wait to hear back from the investigators here with the city of Atlanta Police Department. We have to wait to hear from the investigators here at from the city of Atlanta Police Department. But guess what, brothers and sisters? We're not going to let this stop us. We're not going to let this stop us. And so tomorrow's book signing has went from being a book signing to raise funds for Dr. Umar's various programs to a book signing to raise money to repair this window. This is on me. This is on me. I told the sister, I'm going to repair your, your storefront. Those three windows that they bust out, these are double pane windows, brothers and sisters. I told them, I'm going to get this fixed. This is on me. This is on me. So when y'all come out tomorrow to get your book, just know that before any of that money is used on anything else, first thing we're going to do is get the sister's windows repaired. I promise you that. That is on me. These windows will be repaired. These windows will be repaired, brothers and sisters. Okay, so come out tomorrow and help us raise money to get the Comedic Yoga Skills Studio right here on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard.